Alright, so in this video we are going to be learning about static modifiers. Now, what are static modifiers? Well, a static modifier could be any data that is, is static in the class. And when the data is static in the class, it means it only belongs to that class. It doesn't have nothing to do with the instances. Now, it's actually better for me to show you visually, so I'm going to go and do that. Let's go to the co-editor here. Let's create a save as from class underscore three uh, underscore card 3.php all right class underscore card 3.php and let's make this static class underscore static dot php all right and I'm going to delete a couple things out of here I'm going to delete this first two properties there I'm going to delete this second method and I'm going to delete all these instances here and let's just see what we got here we should have anything all right so the first thing that you should learn is how we define a static property. Well, static property, very simple. You use the word keyword, the keyword static. And now this property is static, meaning that this is attached to the class now, not attached to the instance. So we can't use that anymore. We can come here and say BMW, like we used to do before, and say wheels. We can't do that because it's going to give us a undefined property error here, right? We can't refer to it like this anymore. All right, so we have to use something. In order for us to use this, we need to use a different, different notation. And the notation that we use is something like this. We need to first, let's say we're going to, let's first do this up here and let's comment this out because this is not working eventually, right? So let's say we want to echo this. Right? And even if I echo it here, I just wanted to show you that that it doesn't work. It's the same thing, okay? I didn't echo it, but just because I wanted to, I went ahead of myself in my head and did it. But anyway, let's just echo. And then the way we refer to this static property now is because it's attached to the class, we need to tell PHP where is this um, property at, right? This property is attached to the class. To what class is this attached to? So we know that it's attached to car, which is that that's the car, the class right there. And then the way we refer it, instead of using the arrow here, we use two dots, right? Colon. We use two colons here, and then we write the name. But well, we first need to put the dollar sign because now this is a variable, all right? It's not an instance property, all right? And that's it, right there. All right, so I know it looks pretty weird, but that's the way it is. So now this is just a static property. We can use it any way we want as long as we refer to the class where it's located. We can also have static functions, uh, methods within the class. All right, so that's not the only data we can have. We can have static uh, methods that are only attached to the class instead of it being attached to the instance. Right, so because you know that in order for us to use these properties here in a normal sense, right here, like this, we need to create an instance. There's no other way of using it unless we create an instance, right? But not anymore. If we use static, we can use that in instances, we, we, we can use it any way we want, but we, we have to use it like this, all right? Just know that about that. We can also let's now another thing that I want to discuss about. Let's say, for example, now you can use a regular method and call a static property that's not a problem but we need we need to refer it differently so the way we refer to this class instead of using this this variable that we use with an instance right what we do is we refer to this is very simple we use the the name of the class the two colons and the variable there all right the variable this the dollar sign the symbol or whatever you want to call it and then we can invoke this. And the way we invoke it is very similar to how we invoke. So now that this wheels here is has a different value, that we can go ahead and echo that. So but we first to do that, let's go ahead and car two dots and then the name of the method. Always use the two dots first. And now we can see the value change to 10. All right? So to call any static data inside the class, 
we use the two dots right here like this. So we change this arrow for two dots and instead of having the instance name we have the class name. So that's the difference there. Don't let that trip you off there. It, it would trip a lot of programmers as a matter of fact when they're first starting. But know that this is the way it is. So if you have any errors or something like that look for dollar signs that you're missing because if you now you see in the instance we don't use dollar signs. So that could trip you off there. Make sure that you're not using the instance uh, name. Make sure they're using the class name. All right. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned some valuable information. And I see you on the next lesson. Take care.